and the little kitty boos are at the bus stop with their backpacks waiting to go to school. And inside those backpacks are pencils. So today, let's make a pencil. Our colors for today are a fetre coral for the eraser, a fetre dark yellow for the pencil part. I've got some ivory for the little wooden part and of course some black for the lead. And then I pulled a stringer of medium gray for that part around the eraser, that little bracket that holds the eraser. And I pulled some additional yellow cane just for the ridges on the side of the pencil. And that's it. Okay, while I'm warming up my rod here, I want to direct you guys to Marcy Lamberson's YouTube channel. She also made a pencil. And I'll give you a link in the description. Um, her pencil is so cute. It's all skinny and refined and elegant. And mine's a stubby wubby. <laughs> so I think it's important. You guys should learn everything from everyone. So go ahead and check out Marcy's video too. All right, I'm gonna start this pencil at the very, very beginning. Cause even though this is a pencil, it is a great example of practicing and revisiting some of the basics. So we're gonna start with puckered holes. And I'm gonna start with my puckered hole basic review with the eraser. So I have my coral, I have my mandrel, they're both heated up, and I am going to put on the first wrap slowly, and I'm gonna line up those left edges and my mandrel's not hot enough so my glass isn't sticking and that sucks and I'm shaking because I had a bunch of coffee oh this is going to be a great video anyways I am trying to line up those left edges of the wrap and now I'm just going to go ahead and torch it down and probably not get a puckered hole because my edges aren't even Let's see what happens. Okay, good enough. It'll even out. And I'm going to go ahead and put a second wrap next to that first one. Probably start here on the skinny side. Try to even things out a bit. And I think I'm going to make, because my pencil's a stubby wubby, I'm going to do two wraps of each of the colors. Just like so. Now, the second wrap, I also tried to line up the edges because I want a straight line between the coral and the yellow. And this, this eraser's been used a little bit, so one side is a little lopsided. There we go. Even it up. All right, so I got my um, coral down, my coral down, yeah, the eraser. And now I'm gonna put the yellow. And you can see right here on this edge, it's pretty straight. So, I'm going to hold my mandrel perfectly horizontal to that flame. That's really important when you want a straight line between two colors. And I'm going to put the yellow as best I can right next to that coral. And I am just rotating the mandrel, keeping that yellow rod in one spot, in the sweet spot, so that you get a straight line between the coral and the yellow. And it'll melt in there eventually when we go to marver it down and melt it in. But if you keep your mandrel in one spot and you just rotate the mandrel, you will get a straight line between your two colors. So that is review number two. Is um, First we did the pucker hole review and now we're doing the straight line between colors review. And I'm gonna do it again when I get to my ivory. But I'm just putting glass down right now, the yellow glass. Like I said, my pencil's all stubby webby and Marcy's is all thin and beautiful. And... But even the fat stubby ones need love, right? <laughs> I would know. Oh my gosh, staying at home and eating for the past year. I'm a stubby-wubby myself. 
Okay, that looks good. Now, and you can see right here on the right side, that last wrap, I tried to line up the edges of that wrap so that now we're gonna go ahead and put down our ivory and I want a straight line between the yellow and the ivory. So here we go. Come on, ivory, heat up and don't go pew. Don't go pew. Okay, that looks good. I got a nice little gather, keeping that bead warm. And then down it goes, keeping that mandrel in one spot and rotating the mandrel, keeping my rod in the sweet spot in the flame. And that's how you get your straight line. I think I'm gonna put another, another wrap of ivory. One more wrap of ivory right here. It's kind of overlapping the first wrap, but that's okay. And now we're gonna go for the black and same with the black as with the eraser. We wanna make that puckered hole. So I'm only gonna do one wrap and this one will be tricky because you want it to line up with the ivory and you also want those right hand edges to line up to get the puckered hole. So let's see how good we do. Right there, down, I've got the same evenness, and I think we're gonna do it. Okay, good. <laughs> I pulled it off, and now I need a marver. Hang on a second, I, I cleaned and I put everything away. Oh, where's my marvers? Here we go. All right. Now, let's start marvering this little guy down so he's even. And I'm gonna turn up my torch a bit. Cause I was working cold, I was working cool. All that silver glass, man, it teaches you how to work cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start here on the left edge. And I'm just gonna get the outer edges here, the outside glass hot, and just marver it down so that it's, so that it's a barrel. Now on the other side here, we want our black and our ivory to be at an angle. I'm gonna pick up my marver and I'm going to angle my mandrel down and I'm going to marver it down like a little cone. And it might take a couple times and that's okay. That is perfectly fine. There we go, angle it down. Got a big old wrinkle in it, but we'll work it out. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Angle it down. All right, that looks good for me. Now, I'm going to put those little ridges on that, you know, your pencils are, I don't know, are pencils extruded or carved or I don't know what they are. But I like putting, you know, me and my texture. So just some little lines on the yellow part of the pencil. Space them how you like. And I broke my stringer because it seems to be what I do in videos is break my stringers. Okay, that looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and press those little ridges in. And I think these ridges would look cool if they were like in an orange or a really bright yellow. Or I think I used like the same color yellow for my ridges as I did for my... Um, my pencil. Well, you can feel it even though you can't see it. Okay, and now I got my gray for that little bracket right there. Again, keep your, mand keep your mandrel pointed horizontally. Keep your stringer in one spot and rotate the mandrel and your edges will match up perfectly. And that's it, you guys. That's our review of all of our basics with our pencil. Have a great day and I will be back soon. Bye. Okay guys, here is my super boring copyright notice. Um, basically, the video is copyright protected. So if you would like to show this to someone, just send me an email. If Maria, I wanna show your video in my glass group or maybe at show and tell at school, just send me an email. I'm pretty generous with my copyright. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Um, the bead in this video is also copyright protected. However, I hereby give you permission to make this bead for yourself. And I give you permission to make this bead as a gift for your friends and family. And I also give you permission and blessings and thanks if you want to make beads for a charity. The only thing I ask is that you don't sell any of my beads because I'm selling my beads. Now, that being said, if you want to sell your beads, like say five beads at my church bazaar, Send me an email and we can work something out. If you want to sell a dozen beads at your local craft show, send me an email. We'll work something out. If you want to sell 80 million beads on Amazon, oh my God, send me an email and we can talk about royalties and the millions of dollars we're going to make selling beads. Anyways, guys, get a hold of me. I'm really generous with my copyright. I'm not here to make any money. Um, so yeah, talk to me. Don't be scared. It'll be all right. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you soon. Bye.